We're going to take a look at installing Homebrew on Mac OS. Homebrew is a little script that lets you install other applications from the command line, uh, very similar to what you would do on Linux with apt or on Red Hat with yum or something like that. So a lot of open source uh, applications and utilities, libraries, and development tools and so forth can be installed very easily uh, through Homebrew and it covers automatic upgrades and things like that. So if you're used to using uh, package managers like APT on Linux, then Homebrew is what you want to use on the Mac. So we're going to go to brew.sh, which is their main website. And the way you install it is with a simple um, bash command that runs curl and just fetches the installation script from their server. So we're going to just copy that command and then we're going to go to the terminal and paste it in. It's going to need to install um, some tools, so you'll need to give it uh, your password for administrator access. And it needs to download and install the Xcode command line tools. So this is from Apple. It's part of the Xcode um, development IDE package. And the command line tools includes like your compiler um, for C and C++ and so forth, and as well as make and other utilities that you would need to build um, source code into applications on your computer. So it's going to go ahead and download that from Apple servers. If you already have Xcode installed and you've previously installed the optional command line tools, then you can just skip this state. This part of the process uh, won't be necessary. If you have a slow internet connection, this can take a while. These tools are, I don't know, I think several hundred megabytes at least. I'll just wait for the installation to finish. Looks like the installation could take perhaps longer than the download, depending on the speed of your internet connection, of course. Just give it a few minutes here. It'd be nice if there was some sort of a progress bar, but when you install them from the command line, I don't think that it gives you a progress indication. There we go. Looks like the command line tools for Xcode have been installed. So now Homebrew is continuing um, with its setup process. And one of the things it's going to do is update itself and then it's going to download um, the list of all the different applications that are available. Database. And um, if you want to be able to use Homebrew uh, easily from the terminal anytime, then um, they want you to run these commands here. We can just copy and paste those. Now if I exit out of terminal and go back in, then it's already available because I added it to my path. So let's see if we can install Python. So it's going to fetch all the other dependencies, things that Python needs in order to run, things like SQLite and OpenSSL. And Homebrew installs these in, in such a way that it doesn't conflict with components that are built into Mac OS. So for the most part, you don't really have to worry about compatibility or dependency issues. OK, so Python is installed. I guess it's called Python 3. All right. Oh, there we go. So hopefully that'll help you get started um, with getting Homebrew installed. And now you have a world of applications that are available to you that you can easily install on the command line 
just like you would have on most Linux distros. If you have any questions or want to see something related, uh, leave it down in the comments.